I have another huge Disney pin collection to share with you guys today. What's up everyone? It's Ryan from Disney Pins Blog. Welcome back to another pin collection video. Like I mentioned in the past, I've been purchasing a lot of Disney pin collections. This all stemmed from a blog post that was up on DisneyPinsBlog.com. And I think so far this year I purchased uh, seven collections. I'm only filming the bigger ones. Um, like you guys probably remember the 600 pin collection I did a few months ago. Um, and now this one is even bigger. We are at 700 Disney pins. So I'm really excited to get into it. Um, I just kind of peeked through the boxes and I saw some of the ones that were inside. And of course, whenever the guy sent me photos, I checked them out, but I haven't seen them. They've been he here at my house for um, a few weeks now and I haven't really touched them uh, since this video. So I am going to open them up and show them to you guys. I'm not gonna be filming in them in this room just because there are so many boxes and he packed them up very nicely and it would just be too much for this room. So I'm gonna be taking them downstairs in the dining room. I'm gonna sit them out on the dining room table and uh, film them that way so you guys can just see them all. There's so many nice pins. So from this collection, I'm going to be keeping some for myself and then the remainder are going to be going into dpbstore.com. Uh, that's the store on DisneyPinsBlog.com. The store just really helps with Disney Pins Blog running costs because it is costly to keep the site up and running and a lot of time. So that's why we have the store and purchasing collections really helps out with that. I just want to give a little backstory on the guy that I purchased the collection from. He lived in California and he used to be a Disney cast member at one point and then he moved on to a different job. Uh, but he reached out to me a couple months ago and he needed some extra cash because they were expecting another child. I think it was like his third child, he told me, third or fourth. Um, and they needed some extra money so he had to sell off his Disney pin collection, unfortunately. He did keep a few of his Grail pins uh, for himself so he didn't sell off everything to me. So yeah, that's where this collection came from. Uh, most of the collections are just people getting out of the hobby and they want to sell them off. Um, that last big one I filmed, the 600 pins, that was from um, a lady's mom who uh, unfortunately passed away. She inherited the collection and uh, sold them. So yeah, that's, that's how I acquire these pin collections. And I have people emailing me weekly to sell their Disney pins. Some of them I will buy and others I just you know uh, tell them to go onto our community Facebook page. All right, so yeah, I think it's time to head downstairs and take a look at these pins. Whew, that took me a long time, but here they are. <laughs> This is all 700 plus pins. So many here I want to go through with you guys. Um, this might take me a while. I'm probably going to skim through some and then show a closer look at some of the other ones because um, like some of these down here, like this whole group down here in the front is pretty much all hidden Mickey pins um, from Disneyland and a couple from Walt Disney World. I'm going to skim through a lot of those just because they're pretty common. Um, but these over here are some sets and jumbos. We have some cast member pins in here. And then the whole way back here, we have lots of pins on cards, lots of amazing limited edition jumbo pins down here, which I really want to show you guys a closer look. Uh, but yeah, mainly all these down here are amazing. Just love them so much. And uh, yeah, guys, I am so excited about this collection. I can't wait to show you guys. So let's get right into it. All right. Yeah, this took up my whole freaking dining room table here. <laughs> all right. Let's uh, just start here at the bottom. Um, we'll start over here on this side. Like I said, a lot of these are just regular hidden Mickey pins. Um, some of them were already were in the plastic. These are real pins though. I did verify the back. Everything here is 100% legit real pins. Cruising down over here to the left, you'll see a lot of the alphabet pins he had. Tons of these diamond pins from uh, Disneyland. There's hidden Mickey diamond pins. And I love the redhead. I'm definitely going to be keeping that one and the train. I love that. There's duplicates in here as well and triples of some. So very cool. These uh, weird little guys up here, I'm going to be keeping that Tower of Terror one for my collection uh, just because I am a Tower of Terror collector. Uh, over here, yeah, just lots of hidden Mickey pins. A lot of these are very common. You'll find at the parks. Um, but everything here is 100% legit real pins. Uh, he was a cast member, so he... Um, was you know pretty aware of what was real and fake. We um, had a conversation about it. So here's the Huey, Dewey, and Louie little guys. These things are awesome. Those are from Disneyland Paris. Got the gold tone finish in the back. We'll just cruise through these hidden Mickey pins and we'll get over to some more unique ones over here. Um, like here is this volunteer pin with the uh, Queen of Hearts 
an Alice pin, a hinge pin, still in the, in the package. That's really cool. Um, another uh, volunteer pin. And I love these Mary Poppins pins here. I think they're from the Great Movie Ride scene at uh, Walt Disney World, Disney's Hollywood Studios. Um, I do have to do some more research on those, but I think that's what they are. There's definitely going to be keepers for me. Um, here, I thought this one was cool. It's the uh, Reluctant Dragon. It's a hinge pin, but I think the bottom might be broke. Still in the original package, so that's really cool. You have Walt Disney there in the back from Disney Catalog exclusive pin collection. That was neat to see. Here's one of those um, Jumbo Pirates of the Caribbean pins. We had one of these before in the previous pin collection we bought. Um, I love this pin. Very heavy duty nice from uh, Disney Studio Store Hollywood. Comes in that velvet bag there. All right, let's get into some of these sets and jumbos. Uh, look at this Walt Disney World pin here with the uh, gold Mickey ear icon. Let's go ahead and open this one up. Boom, look at that. Gorgeous jumbo pin with Walt Disney and Mickey Mouse and Cinderella's castle in the background. That is beautiful pin. And it comes in this wooden box that is limited edition of 1,000. Here is another jumbo pin with Mickey Mouse and the Disneyland sign LE 750 in the original box there. Here's another jumbo Mickey Mouse pin. It looks like it's on an easel, like a painting would be. That is from Disney Movie Rewards. I remember these when these ones came out on the easels as well. That was in 2013. Up over here, we have a Haunted Mansion Holiday Christmas wreath pin with glitter embellishments uh, for Nightmare Before Christmas. That's the uh, Haunted Mansion overlay, limited edition of 500 jumbo, very nice. I thought this was cool. This is from Disney Movie Rewards. A Donald Duck pin set in a wooden box. Awesome. Here's another beautiful pin. It's a super jumbo uh, with Walt and uh, Mickey Mouse on Main Street. Just look at the detail on that pin. Greetings from Main Street, USA. Moving down here, this is one of the biggest pins I've ever seen. It is a super jumbo Jessica Rabbit. Let me uh, see if I can take this lid off here so we don't have the glare. Okay, there we go. Look how big this pin is. That thing is just massive. There is a closer look. Very nice pin. And a huge box. Let's see what the addition size is on that one. That is 1,000. Over here is that Lion King pin set. I recently did a pin video on, on these, these old rare pin sets that came in the wooden boxes. Got another one of those. Very nice. This one back here is pretty cool too. It's the uh, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs uh, pin set and it comes in this red velvet box. Close that, so it looks like a uh, jewelry box. I don't think that's limited edition or anything, but that is a retired collection. All right, let's head back over on this side. We'll uh, look at some more hidden Mickey pins, make our way down the table. Here we have some of those white glove pins. Uh, there's some soda bottles mixed in here. That's an old hidden Mickey collection. Here's some cool ones with Sorcerer Mickey from the D23 Expo. I think that was from, yeah, 2011 there at the top. Uh, we're kind of getting out of the hidden Mickey pins here. Look at this Mary Poppins one. That is pretty nice. Here is uh, Sorcerer Mickey, you have Pete, I Love Housekeeping, lots of old ones. Looks like here, this is one of those train pins from a uh, set. Some more hidden Mickey pins. That's an old Frontierland pin, really cool. Uh, lots of cast member pins, I love transportation. I really like this Enchanted Tiki Room pin. I think I had one of those before. That's a nice one to have. And this Jungle Cruise pin, little poster. I'm probably gonna be keeping that one. And that pin there is just bizarre. Okay, moving on down. Uh, there's another one. Yeah, like I said, lots of doubles and triples in here. Let's get into some of these uh, cast member name tag pins. Look how cool these are. Take a closer look there, we got Duffy, I Love You, Mickey Mouse, Mr. Toad, Donald Duck, got Mike Wazowski, a Minnie Mouse one up here. Let's just take a look at the back on one of these, we'll see. Yeah, it says uh, cast exclusive. It's not open edition or anything, but it is a retired pin. See on this Mickey Mouse one here. Oh, that's real old there. Oh, that one's from Hong Kong Disneyland. Cool. 
Look how cool this one is here. It says Dream Makers with um, the gator from one of the water parks. I forget which one he's from. I think that's Blizzard Beach or is that Typhoon? I'm not sure. That's an older pin. There's a Donald uh, Walt Disney cast member pin. Pirate's Lair. Love this one here too. I had that one before. It's a Chanted Tiki Room Disneyland collection. Getting into some more hidden Mickey pins here. Oh yeah, check out that Yoda cast member pin. I didn't see that one before. That one's really cool. In the Monsters Inc. and the BR Cast. Okay, moving up over here to some random characters. More hidden Mickey pins. Mystery sets in here. That's for my Cars Land mystery set. That's really cool. Look how big this vinyl nation pin is. I think it was massive. More Reluctant Dragon. Looks like he was a collector of Reluctant Dragon. That's cool. These are unique pins here. It's like the uh, very edgy. I haven't seen those ones before. All of their signature pins. Tinkerbell, Chip and Dale, Pluto. Look at all of these t-shirt pins. This right here is a whole collection as well. These little rectangular cards. Pretty neat. Okay, moving on over here. Some more hidden Mickey pins. Those eggs and stuff. And another assortment there. So next we're going to be getting up into a lot of the cards and limited edition pins. Uh, but before we do continue any more up the table up here, I'm going to go over here and get some of these ones on the other side of the table that I missed. I'm just trying to work my way up the table. So we're about halfway done here. We did all of these hidden Mickey pins, those limited edition pin sets and jumbos over there. Um, and now we're going to work our way and do this section of here and then go up that way. All right, back on the other side of the table. Now we're getting into some of the pins with the backer cards already on them. I thought this here was a unique pin. I never saw anything like that before with Mickey Mouse there. It's an interesting design. I don't know too much about that. So if anyone has any thoughts on that pin, leave a comment below. Here's another cool one with uh, Disney Afternoon DuckTales. Limited edition pin there with the uh, Looks like a little pig in the band. And then we have some open edition pins and limited pins sprinkled throughout. I'm just going to kind of scan through and uh, show you guys a closer look. This is pretty cool here from uh, Tokyo Disney Sea. If you guys see any you like, just pause the video to take a closer look. Just trying to scan through some of these. There's a nice lady pin there with a Christmas wreath. I thought that pin was interesting. Mickey and Minnie on a camel. That's kind of cool. Here is going to be a keeper for me. I don't have that one. Goofy with a bellhop outfit on. There's a Walt Disney Day pin. We got a triple there. I love the three caballeros, so I'll probably be keeping those ones as well. This one's from Disneyland Paris. I thought that was interesting. Who loves Figment from Walt Disney World? That's a cool back card on that one. Celebrate Love, we got a Jungle Book. A few Jungle Book pins here. Mickey Relaxing, another one of those pins from D23. This one here is one of those hinge pins with the um, little envelope. You slide it up and on the inside it says uh, Steamboat Willie. That's pretty neat. Here's uh, one from the Walt Disney Family Museum. Some Lots of Mickey Mouse pins. That one's cool. Caution ahead. <laughs> Jessica and uh, Roger Rabbit there. I thought this one here was going to be a popular one. Stitch with pizza. That's cool. I'm not a stitch collector, but that's a funny pin. I like that. Some cast member pins. Epcot Flower and Garden Festival. This one over here is pretty unique. It's like actual like a leather material on the front. And then you open it up and on the inside is Mr. Toad. Over here is a Beloved Tales. Very nice. Some Disneyland pins. I was there. What's that for? Uh, California Adventure. That's pretty cool. There's two of them. June 15th, 2012. Okay, up here on the next couple of rows. Scanning through these. Wreck-It Ralph. Look at all of the glitter embellishments on that one. Scrooge McDuck. That's fancy. Lots of Oswald pins, Walt Disney, DuckTales again, Jessica Rabbit. Moving up over here, look at that guys. Jessica Rabbit as the redhead. That is really cool, I've never seen that one before. 
These old school Mickey Mouse cartoon pens. Very nice. Steamboat Willie. Look at that one. There says Sweetest Day on it. 2003. Disney Shorts. More Oswald. I had that pen. That was actually one of the very first pens I ever got. It's cool to see. Okay, coming up in here into some jumbo pens again. Look at that one. Pirates of the Caribbean with Mickey and it's a spinner. That is really cool. Yeah, you just spin it like that. That is so cool. I had a couple of these Mark Davis pins before. I love these. I mean, I think I have a couple in my collection. I'm not sure, but the gold frame on them with the original artwork in the center is awesome. Here's another really cool pin with Mickey. It's a uh, spinner pin with the ghost in the background. I thought that was really neat. Uh, here's some other open edition pins. One from Soda Fountain. This one here is another awesome one from the Main Street Electrical Parade. Yeah. Happy New Year pin from 2017, or no, 2014. Coming up top here, we have some jumbos and piece of movie history pins. Steamboat Willie, I love that. Here's another jumbo from the Jungle Book. Also love this Lonesome Ghost pin. That is such a funny cartoon. I love that. Here is a Lion King jumbo. And then another Pirates of the Caribbean jumbo pin. Look at the back cards you see coming. It's like really heavy too. That I think is going to be a keeper for me. Okay, let's move our way over here. We have a little bit left to cover. So let me go down over here. Starting back on this side, I think we ended over here with these hidden Mickeys. So we're going to work our way up. Here's a uh, Tomorrowland Mickey Mouse pin. Another Jessica Rabbit. This is cool here. The um, Haunted Mansion, the graveyard guy. That's cool. Here's a uh, Mickey Mouse celebrating 15 years of Disney California Adventure. There's another one up there. Tinkerbell 50th. Lots of uh, doubles here. That's pretty cool. Look at this one here, the Crystal Palace. I think that's a fancy looking pin. Seven Doors Mine Train. That's a uh, Disney Movie Rewards Seven Doors Mine Train pin. Very cool. World of Colors, the Bastion pin. That's nice. Here's a Alice uh, WDI pin. The Treasures of Walt Disney. Another Alice. These are uh, real character pins. That must have been a collection back in the day. A couple other uh, WDIs with the Sorcerer hats on. Got a Soda Fountain Mickey Mouse there. I think that's uh, the Bride from Haunted Mansion, I believe. Is that a mashup? I'm not sure. Here's another. Oh, that's a. Oh, that's a Jessica. Okay, so we got another Jessica here, and then that must have been a Jessica's the Bride. Another Jessica down here. Must have been a Jessica collector as well. There's a nice little mermaid pin. Scrooge. I don't know what that is. Lots of cast pins. There's back to that redhead. I love that one. This is interesting here. It's a uh, Chip and Dale, or no, that's just Chip. Chip and Chip on there. And this Chip is the pin, and that one is just holding the telephone on this little back card here. Oh, it's like a postcard. That's really cool. Couple other WDIs. That's a nice uh, Thanksgiving pin. You don't see too many Thanksgiving pins. That's cool to see. Little goofy pin there. Another D23 Expo. Wow, look how cool that one is. It's a Haunted Mansion with Donald Duck. That's really cool. There's a Donald Duck 50th anniversary. Another soda fountain. I have that pin. That's a cool one. Happy Easter. You got a Pocahontas. Another uh, Thanksgiving. Jungle Cruise, that's a piece of costume history pin. So in that bubble there is a piece of the costume. Another Jessica Rabbit, a Disneyland 60th pin, it's very nice. Up here, looks like another uh, Reluctant Dragon. What is this? Oh, that's a actual cast pin. Walt Disney and you, that's really cool. Another WDI, Disneyland 60th. Jessica Rabbit for looks like Valentine's Day. And uh, Ratatouille pin there from Soda Fountain. Super cool. All right, guys, so that is everything. All 700 pins. Woo! 
All right, hope you guys enjoyed a look at this entire collection. I really had a good time going through it all again. Um, lots of awesome pins here. So I'm going to be sorting through some of these, keeping the ones I want. And then, like I said before, the ones that I uh, do not want will be going into dpbstore.com. So keep an eye out on the website. It's going to be a slow rollout because it does take me lots of time to add pins in. Um, so probably within the next um, two to three months, I'll try to at least get in a few pins every day or every other day. All right, thank you so much for watching and have a good one. See ya.